I'm sure. We are in the final lap at Road America. Four miles around, 14 turns. What happens? Here's Chase Elliott inside of Brendan Gaughan looking toward turn one. Brendan sailed it off in there that time. He made a stick. Smoke now. See that fender starting to rub that tire. The faster that they start running, the more pressure they're putting on it. You can't count this 23 out of this yet either. Nope. That's Kevin O'Connell. The Californian. The name on the side of his car says Shania. They're racing with Shania Twain's charity on the side of that 23 car. Not over yet. 
know if it's a left hander coming up. Almendinger's in the best spot. Still no, there, still there. There's any pavement to work with there. Almendinger holds the lead. Here they come to the white flag. One more left to go. Hit your mark, buddy. Hit your mark. Clear by three, side by side in your mirror. White flag right here. Clear by four. Hit your mark, man. Hit your talk at the start of the show about last lap pass on road courses. We could see one here. Ty Dillon drives away, though, as they head toward three. That's that left-hander. That's where he would run out of fuel if he was going to run out. And now as they go into turn number three, that right-hander, he still has the advantage over Chase Elliott. Wiggling that truck. Could be a little loose, could be looking for fuel. Continues to wiggle the truck as they go to turn four. Another left-hander right here, turn four. Ty Dillon is at the furthest point away from the start-finish line right now. Can he hang on and stay in front of Chase Elliott? Up the long and ready, straight away they go. Chase has a run on him. Here comes Elliott, looking to the inside, side by side for the lead. Elliott has the advantage, but they're door to door as they go up looking into turn number eight. Elliott can slide up. Or excuse me, Dylan Dylan still has up. the inside line. He stays in front of the 94. Chase Elliott right on his back bumper. Through turn number nine, they go. Ty Dillon with the advantage. Elliott right on his back bumper, looking to the inside at 10. They make contact. Elliott spins the three, the three into the tires, and Chase Elliott trying to hang on. Across the stripe, he'll go. Elliott wins in Canada. Mike Skeen has spun around, Max Pappas around. Ryan Blaney as well. Coming through turn 10. Hockenbra unofficially second. Paluto is third. Good job, bud. Good job. What an incredible finish. Chase Elliott will grab his first career win in just his six starts. And he got into the back of that three of Ty Dillon in turn 10. Nonetheless, what an outstanding run for Chase Elliott. Not sure what happened there. We know what happened on that last corner, last lap. He got to the inside of Ty, made contact. Look like there's some uh, angry racers here on this last lap. And one final time, they head down the long back straightaway. But watch this 77 to Kurogi. He's been really fast on this long back straightaway, using the draft to try to pull alongside Blaney. He's right there, Phil. Boy, this is deja vu of a year ago. See Ryan Blaney goes oh, to the outside. outside. Kuroga to the outside as they head to turn eight. Blaney trying to hold him off. Kuroga going to have the inside preferred line Forward. as they go to turn nine. Herman Kuroga takes the top spot. Blaney tries the crossover. Here they are in turn 10. Herman Kuroga trying to pull him to the start finish line. As they come to the line, checkered flag, Ryan Blaney by a nose. Unbelievable. You're talking about pull under fire. You lose the lead, you get it back, and for the third time in his career, Ryan Blaney gets the checkered flag. 